All right, we're in the Festive Cup Tournament. We're in the Ricky Division on Monday's qualifying round, and we're on hole number two. So we're going to look at our notes here. We finished our note sec, and we're, now we're going to start uh, continuing to perfect these notes on this qualifying round. So the first thing we want to do is go to Golf Clash Notebook. Let's look at hole number two. Now, I only got this hole a couple times over the last few days and you know just practicing but we want to end up pretty much anywhere in front of that line and if you're in front of that line you'll be able to get on I've been practicing a lot with the Guardian and the Guardian is can just get it done I'm gonna bring a big dog here so that we don't have to try and get it all the way down into this area now if you get down into this area could actually be shooting it with your long iron instead of your wood and it gives you some more options but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a quarterback and I'm going to bring a three power ball just so that no matter where I end up back in here um, I've got plenty of ball to get me up to the green so let's go back to our game I'm going to bring a quarterback. I don't need to get all the way down in there. We're going to bring a big dog. Our big dog is 1-9 per ring at max distance. And we're going to bring us a big ball. So we're either going to take a Titan or a Kingmaker. I think I'm going to bring a Kingmaker. Just help cut the wind down on that second shot if nothing else. All right, we are off to hole number two. Now we're still kind of practicing some of these holes to see if you know what we've what we've decided to bring is actually going to work. And I'm going to play pretty good on score because I'm going to wait until hole number three and if, if I don't if I can't get an eagle on hole number three I'm going to probably just play this round out but not uh, we're going to take the wind out just get rid of that variable Hitting perfect, just trying to get down there in the middle. Trying to go towards that gap. And we, boy, we hit some. We hit the ground and ran. It's not good, but we're way over on the other side. So we'll be able to make that with our rough iron. I have shot this a few times just to see if, if you're on the other side of this sand right here, if you've got a Nirvana, if you can make it from the rough and you can. It's a heck of a shot if you're in this sand to get up on the green with a Spitfire. And the only club that will get it done is a Spitfire. Our opponent's in a good spot. They brought a long wood with them, but you can see you're laying up. He's they're at 319 yards, so they're so we're right at the red line, but we've got plenty of fairway here. So we're gonna treat this as pretty much a max shot. So it's two per ring. We're going to go a little shy of two rings. And hit it great to the right. And we're on the French. This is a par four, and I know we're always looking on par fours for what's our eagle shot. But this is one of those par fours that it's hard enough just to get birdie. You can see our opponent brought a guardian. They're not actually in a bad spot. If they'd have brought a big dog here, they'd be, you know, they'd probably be in the red line a little closer. I'm talking about 10 yards. 
you'd probably be able to bounce up pretty easily. The thing about the Guardian is it doesn't have a lot of top spin. So it doesn't give you, I mean, it's got all that backspin, but it doesn't have a lot of top spin, so you kind of lose some of those options with that club on these types of holes. Yeah, we're having to work for a birdie pretty hard. Isn't it perfect? No, Marty. Marty on hole two. Let's see if our opponent can make it in from the sand. This all boils down to perfect shot. Um, this hole's not going to have a whole lot of movement on that ball and the wind is not going to affect it at all so that wind adjustment he just made there of moving it off about a half a cup i think he's going to miss it to the right to the left yep good game good luck That was hole number two of the Festive Cup in the Ricky Tournament, uh, Monday's qualifying round. Thanks for watching.